Hello world, I'm Alex Nieva at Infusion Systems working with the IQBX line of products. Today I'm going to show you how to connect three analog sensors to the Y-Dig and trigger drum sounds in GarageBand. The first thing we need to do is to connect the Y-Dig to our battery. If you need to know how to get started with the Y-Dig, please watch our previous video on how to do that. The next thing we need to do is to connect to the MIDI Bluetooth device that has been created by doing the battery connection. So let's go and do that in our computer. So uh, if we click Bluetooth, you see that the MIDI, the YDIG is already listed here and we just click connect. So we connected and now we need to go to Editor X and uh, to the digitizer box and click refresh and connect to the Bluetooth device. Perfect, we're connected now. So uh, remember you always have to click update to load previous configurations or to load the factory configurations if your YD is new. So let's click update and we're gonna start from zero so that I show you step by step what to do here. I'm gonna hit clear and I'm gonna go to uh, my sensor inputs window. So let's work with the first sensor. Let's click on in sensor one and let's click edit so that we can change its configuration. So as you can see, this is already sending data. Let's put it in zero. And we need to choose here that this is an analog sensor. Of course, it's analog. And what kind of processing we are going to use for it. Uh, we're going to receive data continuously, so we don't change that. And uh, the noise level is important to put it in one, so that we receive changes in one. Let's just stop there for now, and let's go to the sensor 2. So let's click on here and let's click edit. So what is sensor 2 going to do? It's going to trigger sound. So we don't need to sense data continuously. So we're going to disable that and we're going to select peak here so that we just get peak values. We also need to get peak end so that we know when the trigger ends. For this we need a threshold that we're going to put in let's say 1. And the noise level, again, it has to go to 1, so that we detect changes uh, in 1. So if you see, now we are sending trigger values in this box for sensor input 2. Let's do the same thing for sensor input 3. Let's go edit, uh, let's select continuous, let's select peak, peak end, and the noise value is going to be 1, and this value is going to be 1. So uh, now this one is sending trigger values. You can also monitor these values here. Oh, but it's in MIDI monitor, so it says here that it's sending control change, but we're going to use a different configuration. So now that we have that, let's go back to sensor 1 and let's choose what it's going to do. I think this one is going to control volume. So I'm going to put that as a control change MIDI message in channel 1 and uh, the control message is number 7 for volume. And I'm going to send values from 0 to 127. That's great. Let's do the same thing for sensor 2. Now, in this case, I think I'm going to send... No, I'm going to send note ons at a velocity of 125, but only one note, uh, which is going to be uh, note 36, 36, which is for the bass drum. So let's put 36 in both boxes, and you see you are sending only one note. If you view that, uh, you... Oh, it's already making sound. And let's do the same thing for channel 3, and I'm going to send 125 uh, note on, and this is going to be 38, and this one's 38. And that's it. So all those MIDI messages are going through our system and we're going to go to GarageBand and if you see here we're already sending MIDI and we're controlling the volume of the first track. I have a drum set loaded in the in the first track and if we put it in there, look at this. That's great. Let me lower the volume. Or you put a maximum. So 
So that is how you trigger sounds using your YDIG connected wirelessly to the computer via Bluetooth. Please stay tuned for more videos in the following days. I'll see you then.